this video on how to convert Java Minecraft world files to Bedrock Edition world files which can then be opened in either Windows 10 version or Minecraft Education Edition or on console or Minecraft PE Pocket Edition. First of all we're going to need a special tool to do this which we will get here. I will post links to this tool in the description so don't worry about copying the link down. You can get the link from planetminecraft.com uh, and what we're searching for is Anvil to Level DB Converter. It says Java to Pocket Edition, but remember Pocket Edition is built on Bedrock, so this tool will do just fine. So, scrolling further down, I'm going to download via direct download the file. And it's a JAR file, that's all we need is a JAR file. So if you've got Java installed on your PC already, that's all you need to run this. I click on save and it downloads that to my downloads location. It's a very small file, only 8.5 meg, so it shouldn't take long to download at all. Once that's downloaded, then we will see it appear on our desktop. It's there at the top Java file. Uh, you can double click on it to run it straight from there if you want to, but I actually prefer to run it out of a separate folder on my desktop uh, called Amble to Level DB. So I've already got that set up here. It will become clear why we do that later on. <coughs> In addition, uh, you're going to want to have a converted folder or an empty folder called converted or conversion or something um, as a destination file for your new Bedrock Edition maps. The only one other thing that you're going to need is a Java file. Uh, in previous videos, I've shown you where you can get copies of your Java files, whether it's on Mac or PC from your save, uh, saved games, or whether you are running a server and you can want to download uh, one of your server files if you run a server. But you actually need a folder um, from Java, and I've got one here, which contains all of your uh, files um, and your level gap file, etc. So I'm going to pop that in there as well. Again, you'll see why I keep it all in one place very shortly when we run this executable. So uh, let's open up the executable, the Java file. And you can see here it's diving straight into as a source file where I select my, my Java world. It's diving straight into my saves folder. I don't want to do that because if I corrupt a save file, that's it lost forever. So now you can understand why we copied um, the Java save file uh, the world file into a separate location. So I'll just browse to that first of all. So it's on my uh, desktop and it's in this Amble to Level DB, everything in one place, Warren Percy 16 Java, select folder. So that's my source uh, decided on. I now need to decide where it's going to be output to. Again, we'll go to browse, we'll go to my desktop, Amble to Level DB and choose my converted folder, my empty converted folder. Again, this is why I put everything in one place. And then we just convert world. It'll run the Java files, depending on the size of your file will obviously determine how long it takes to convert. And very large files may actually convert incorrectly. We have had some issues converting some very big files. So it's not guaranteed to work, but I've had very good success with this. It gives you some messages here about what's happening in terms of the files also being converting and compacted. Um, and it also tells you what is not copied. Um, so some things like block NBT may not copy. So for example, words on signs may not copy. Uh, for example, you may have to redo all your signs um, if that's the case. So we click OK and we're waiting for the compaction process to happen, which shouldn't take too long at all. And in fact, there it is. Compaction has been completed and we're done. I can close that down now and in my converted folder I have a Warren Percy 16 Java folder that I can use. Now I need to copy that file and put it into my um, saves folder on Minecraft Education Edition to play this. So I'm going to right click on it and copy and in a previous version of my videos, you will, there's a, a video on how to find your saves folder for Minecraft Education Edition. Uh, so as you'll know, I've already got a shortcut to that folder here, uh, .com Mojang EE. Uh, the location of that you can find at any time by clicking on the address here. It's quite a long location, uh, as you can see. Uh, again, refer to my previous videos on how to get access to this folder. 
So I'm in my set my dot com um, my com Mojang folder, and I need to go to Minecraft Worlds, and I'm going to paste my Minecraft World into there, like so. So that's copied the uh, converted file into my saves folder. So now all I need to do is go into Minecraft Education Edition. And this might get a bit tricky. Let's see how this works. Uh, Minecraft Education Edition. And I'm going to click on Play. And there's my save file. You can see here it's already set up. I can activate other things such as the cheats, etc. and we will play that file. And there it is. There is my copied file and we're now in Minecraft Education Edition. So this is a converted file from Java to Minecraft Education Edition complete. Okay, I will just quit out of that and close down Minecraft Education Edition. So once that's saved we can then export the file. So don't forget once it's been saved um, we can always then go and export the file um, using the export features of Minecraft Education Edition. So here we are, we've got the game in there and if I click on the edit button now I can actually scroll right the way down to the bottom and I can export that world as a minecraft.mc world. So let's call this Warren Percy 16 Bedrock. As a Minecraft world and we'll put it into my documents, so my desktop folder and export. There we go, level export started and level export will be complete very quickly. There we go, done. So that's it. Um, so on my desktop now, I have a Warren Percy bedrock file, which I can just double click and it will launch uh, Minecraft Education Edition. And I can circulate that file for others to play as well. So that's it, very straightforward. And I hope you enjoy that video and it gets you started with converting your own files. Thank you.